Hi stampers, today I'm gonna show you how to make this cute ornament and ornament holder. It's kind of stationary to keep office on your home office. It's a cute Christmas present. Let me show you. Okay, I hope you like it. Let's start. I cut my pedal card from my big shot and then I cut off my four petals. You see, they have circle. So you're going to have leftover square in the middle. Then from each half circle what I did is fold it in half I mark it with my fingers on my nails and then as you open fold it into that middle half again each side now this flap, you're gonna fold it in half again. Each flap, the same procedure. And now, if you open, you have this. So you're gonna fold it into the middle in half again. I hope you're following. And now the same thing, I'm gonna fold it into the middle in half again. And then you fold this back, this is what you have, a little bit of accordion. Now I've done already my four pieces. So what am I gonna do now is use my Stella adhesive to adhere all these together. Let's see. You want to keep same color together so you can have a double sided ornament. And I came up with this idea by accident because I was cutting my pedal car for at the same time and that's how they came out. My half circle came off of my square, you know. They say don't use too many papers and I went ahead and did it and then that's what happened. So now I'm just putting a snack in on the last flap and I'm adhere it to my first flap. The same keep the same color together. And now when I adhere it, I fold it and I press to make sure I keep it the shape of my accordion. Then I I'm going to give this to my sister, she's a real estate agent and I know she's going to really appreciate and have it on her desk. She's very nice, everything I give her she's showing off. Okay, I just hear the four of them so I'm not going to do the last one. I'm going to overlap again. Give it to my husband for his office too. And you know, could you also help like a paper holder? So let me show you now. Now that I did the last one, that's what we have. Okay. At this point, I already stamp my Merry Christmas circle stamp from our holiday mini catalog 2009-2010 I call it the ornament set because all the girls that stamp with me they call it the ornament set that's not what it's called ladies 
let me tell you the name of the stamp set. Delightful decorations on page 24. This is the one that I'm using. I don't know if you can see it. Yes. Merry Christmas with the star. And I went ahead and stamped it with Bermuda Bay and I punched it with my three quarter circle punch. The same design as serious paper. It's a holiday one. Um, I punch it in a one inch circle punch. Now I'm gonna use my famous dimensionals from stamping up. We're gonna use dimensional in this three quarter circle punch. I hear it to the one circle punch. We're gonna put another dimensional here. Why I'm putting dimensional? Because I want this to slip through under my circles to hold my ornament. You know, and then they can display in their home. I'm gonna show you at the end. We're gonna punch and put our silver cord on. So this is the blue. We're gonna put it against the beige one to make sense, you know, contrast. And now. another one done stamping dimensional I pre-stamp it and punch it because my videos I don't know why I never go get my 10 minutes over my beige design series paper I call it beige you know it's the double sided Sinus series paper. Now we're gonna put this against our Bermuda Bay color, and that's how it looks. And you can punch a circle here and pass through silver or ribbon or something. And then this is I call it large paper holder. So I cut the same design as serious paper in my Bermuda base sided half inch by one inch both sides and here with snail adhesive that's all I needed and now that's why I put dimensionals double dimensionals so kind of slide it through underneath my circles and there you have it hope you like it thank you bye bye